This is GeForce from XTS Gaming, and I have a special guest, Snipes, or Dylan Snipes, our resident sniper in XTS. Hey guys, how's it going? Cool. Pretty good. We're talking about bolt-action sniper rifles today, and first of all, I want your thoughts about the starting rifle, the CSLR4 and the M40A5. Oh, they have the same stats, but if you go into the um, the testing ground and play with them both, there's actually a couple of differences between them. Uh, what I noticed with the um, M40A5, um, it has less time between your shots, so you can get more shots off faster uh, with the reload. Um, it also has a bit more of a drop at the end compared to the CSLR. Uh, those are the two main points that I have found with the two. Um, I prefer the CSLR. Um, I see people with play the M40 a lot, um, but those is what that's what I've uh, come to find between the two. Okay, when you look at the SV98 and the JNG90, those are both pretty hard hitting, heavy. I would call them heavy sniper rifles. What's your feeling about those two particular rifles? They have quite a longer delay between the shots. Um, the JNG does have a good range on it that I feel, um, and between the two, you the differences in damages, they've, they've got a couple of, um, small differences between the two, so it really comes to a perf personal preference. Uh, but one thing I have found is when you do zoom in on the scope, um, the SV-98, it moves right to left very slightly. Uh, but the JNG, it does uh, what I like to call a crescent zoom, which means you zoom in, it does like um, a quarter of a circle arc before it zooms in on its uh, focus. So you're going to take uh, that extra split second to line somebody up in your sights. Uh, now the JNG to me feels like a more powerful weapon, and I do like it. Um, in comparison to the SV-98, so I do prefer that with long range sniping. Uh, but the SV-98, uh, going with long to medium range, I do prefer that one. Uh, I remember the M98B back in Battlefield 3. I loved this weapon. It just felt powerful. I was getting kills. I was getting a lot more headshots with it, surprisingly. And I also noticed I'm getting more headshots with it as well. And I've looked into these two. I prefer the SRR-61 over it. I've played with it a lot more. And it's just got the highest stats of them, and it's just got uh, a well-rounded um, stats all across. In comparison to the M98B, the M98B has quite a long delay between shots. Let me just look at my stats here. You're almost looking at like a 2.5 to 3 seconds in between shots, which if you're not going to get that uh, first shot kill, you might want to look into a different sniper rifle. Um, now, one thing I noticed between the two you zoom in on the M98B, reticle goes from a lower right to um, a higher center point, so it's going to look up, and I think that contributes to more headshots than other weapons, because other weapons will go from a top down or left to right zoom in. Um, compared to the, if I want to see which one is best, I like the SSR a bit more, but I do like playing with the M90P, it just has a good feel to it. But I can't help but think that it's not as good as it was in Battlefield 3. Okay. Now going from a heavier sniper rifle class to the lighter ones like the Scout Elite and the FYJS, what's your thoughts about the Scout, Scout Elite? I know it doesn't cause as much damage as the rest, but where is it effective in Battlefield 4? Um... It's good for a lot of the uh, the smaller maps. I see a lot of surprisingly, I see a lot of people use a scout. Um, I've played with it a bit. I tried it out. It's not my type of weapon, but um, going into it, uh, it does have that low damage, and it does do that um, bit of a crescent scope. So when you zoom in, it's, it does a little bit of a a quarter of a circle before it sets its sights on. Uh, but it is a very light weapon to use to run around on a, a medium-sized map. Um, so it's good for those situations. Uh, comparison to the other ones, you're looking at more of a long-range style. Uh, setting up camp and uh, just getting your scope on an object. But if you want to run around a bit more and be more mobile, the scout is pretty good with that. 
I noticed in your footage you use a lot of the 338 recon. Tell me why you like that particular weapon. I don't use the recon for long range, but what I found is I was uh, playing around with the different snipers and I wanted one that I can use for close range combat. Um, so I tried out the recon and um, I run it with either iron sights or I believe this is the the, the ACOGS type of scope, where it's just like one point or one or two times scope. Um, I like it the most because when you look down the sights, it goes directly to the middle. It doesn't do any left to right sway or a bit of a delay to get on. It's very fast to zoom in on somebody, and it's um, the most powerful of the lighter sniper rifles. So, usually getting that one shot kill. Um, comparison to the scout, or if you want to run the CSLR with the uh, with an iron sights, you're not going to get an insta kill with those most times. But I found with the recon, uh, you're getting kills most of the time with the single shot. So looking back at all the sniper bolt action sniper rifles, which one do you like for which situations? Uh, on close quarters map or maps that you need to, uh, like objective maps that are small and have a lot of corners, I like the Recon 338. Um, you could run a scout with that as well. Uh, you're looking at uh, a low zoom point, nothing more than nothing more than the stock six or eight or seven or eight. You want to go something like an ACOG scope or iron sights or red dot. Um, those two are my preferred uh, snipers for a small map like that. Um, attaching a red dot onto those also helps with the hip fire, especially with the recon. I've gotten a couple of kills with that, just turning and firing and getting a good shot on somebody. Um, so those are the best situations if you want a small map, tight corners, and you want to hold that aim and move around and strafe. If you want to go on uh, a medium-sized map, um, I prefer, I like the CSLR, it's just a good starting weapon and you really get the hang of it. Uh, you can move up to the M40A5 for those rapid shots in between. Uh, I feel that the um, JNG also falls well into this, along with the Scout if you want to put that longer sight on it. Those all fit into a good medium range game. Um, for the longer, the larger maps, I do feel that the M98B and the SSR are your best choice uh, because they do have the better range and stats and they're almost guaranteed to kill whenever... Thanks, Snipes. This is GeForce and Snipes from XTS Gaming, signing off.